Welcome back. In today's session, I will investigate into a digital evidence raw file image called FATFS. I got this image from the law enforcement and forensic examiner, and you can get a copy of this image from their website. I will keep the link in the description below. Here is the image I'm going to use FATFS.raw. You can double click on it to download in your machine or you can use wget command and download into your machine. To investigate in this raw image, I'm going to use grip command with some options. I'm going to create a search list with some keywords. And once I manage to find the keywords hits or the keywords I'm looking for, I'm going to use Hexa Viewer to view the hidden data within this image. The scenario is that there is an insider trade who already left the organization and they believe he sent a letter to the company threatening them to unleash a virus on their network. The suspect, he denied sending this letter. Some basic investigation and viewing into his device conduct that there is no evidence of sending the letter. But however, the letter we suspect he sent contained these keywords like 50,000 US dollar, ransom amount, ransom, unleash virus, and so on. We are going to use these keywords to find out if the suspect sent this letter and if the suspect deleted this letter. To start, I have created an evidence directory within my home folder or directory, and I'm going to open the terminal here, uh, BWD, to know where I am exactly, uh, sudo super user to get to the super user access or the root uh, level access. Then I will hit Kali, I will write Kali and hit enter to make sure I have the full control of this computer. Wget and then right click, pass selection and hit enter. Once you do that, you will get the fat fs.row image that we need to work for this evidence you, do, you don't need to mount it if you need to work on the image straight away but we can mount it remember to mount any evidence you are going to mount it in mnt uh, let me create uh, make directory let me create a directory and i will name it as grip okay the grip command that i'm going to use for today to mount this image you just need to do type mount then home evidence fat fs.row and then you type the folder that you just create and the, yeah now it's mounted if you go to cd grip and ls to list whatever inside that mounting point you'll find these are the file you just mounted and if you go to <clears throat> to the mounting point mnt and here's the file we just created and here are whatever inside that image but however Based on the scenario, we are looking for 50,000 US dollar and we're looking for the term of ransom, amount and ransom. Okay. And I think virus as well. However, if you look into all of these, you will not be able to find any of these keywords. Okay. Any of these keywords. And now we need to use grip command to search into this image and try to find the suspect maybe deleted a message or delete a letter or delete an email or anything like this. To use a crypt command, first thing we are going to create, we create a search list or key, uh, keyword uh, search list. To create that, you can use any, any text editor uh, tool. For myself, I'm going to use nano, use nano. But before I do that, I'll just show you ls. If I click ls, there is just fat fs nano. Now nano search list. Hit enter. I will create my search list right now. So we said there is fifty thousand US dollar. Also, I will write fifty thousand like this, and I will write fifty thousand like this. Okay. Also, we said uh, there is ransom word ransom run, and I will add run some amount okay amount also i will add unleash a virus phrase yeah i will add also keyword as a virus 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 okay virus let's to save it control x okay control x 
To save, just click Y in the keyboard and hit enter. Now we have the search list. You can type cat search list. And here is it, okay? All our keywords that we need to look for in this digital evidence. Make sure each keyword has its own line and make sure there is no space after the last line. Now I'm going to use the grip command. I think most of you know what's grip command and with different options A, B, I and F. Where the F here you specify the file name like search list.txt. I that mean ignore upper and lower cases. Then find out by yourself what is the A and B and write them in the comment below. To find out just type manual or M A N and then grip and you will find all the information about the grip commands. And what I'm going to do right now I said grip and more. I pipe it to more. This mean pipe it to more. Okay, to more. Or less. It's up to you what you use. What we can see here, the byte offset 7449199, which is we indicate by B option. We said to grip command, the output should have the byte offset. Within the byte offset, this URL, because there's the term of virus, then we got 7. 5441 you and your entire business ransom and also we have 75500 where is another text set and also 75767 don't try anything and don't contact the cops okay these are the text set that been deleted from the device itself now we you can use the xxd editor or the hexa any hexa Editor you can use to find out more information within these byte offsets. If you have it in your machine, XXD, and then select the byte offset, let's say 75441, and the image or whatever it is, and pipe it to lists. Okay, to lists. Here is it. You get the whole message. Okay, the whole deleted message. I will try to run it again with more command. Yeah, and here's what we get. You and your entire business ransom. And this part of this uh, byte offset of the keyword search that we managed to do uh, using crib command into the image itself. And also you can do the same for this byte offset and this byte offset. Okay, you can do exactly the same. And then you can take a picture or you copy them and paste into your digital forensic report. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and see you next time.